Uh, hello everyone. Welcome back to Indiana. I'm right here at the diner because I just got done having breakfast. Um, now you might be asking, whatever happened uh, to the farm in the UK? Well, Eminent Domain stepped in because uh, they're putting a new wider road in. So I had to get kicked out. But they gave me a small loan. Well, not a small, a small grant. As you can see here, I have 400000 now. And, um, yeah, so I'm no longer in the UK. But I'm back here in the States. And I actually bought back my old farm. Now, it looks a lot different than the last time we saw it. Because apparently right after I left in that episode... Uh, they changed it up, so now it looks a lot different than uh, we remember. But I already moved everything over. I got everything all situated. Um, so here, let me uh, pull up and show you what we have going on. Uh, yeah, so back here. Take a look. Park my truck up here at the parking space. We hop out. So, here's our piece of property. You remember it very well. Now, when I was here, these sheds weren't here, and this house was with everything like this. Uh, and the chickens were gone, so. Now we just have. A grass field here because uh, we're gonna go back into the grass business yeah, but not with sheep or anything like that we're just gonna be making uh, grass here's our house uh, it's a nice house it was brand new according to uh, real estate it was brand new like the people just put it in we got the farm all out here but Here's the little patio we got. Now, I don't know if you know, it comes with like a little playset here. But it's supposed to be like that. You know, the, the playset here is supposed, is supposed to be like that. And, uh, just in case I ever have, like, family over or whatever, I'll just keep it just in case. I do have a grill on top of this, like, little metal pad here. Which is very cool. But... You come inside. Oh, it's quite nice. It's a modern little house, but you know, quite spacious. And we got the stove here, sink here, you know, got all the modern necessities. We got like the washroom here. And we got the bathroom. Turn off the light. And we got the master. But, yeah, it's a very nice house. Um, now, the rest of this area, we got... I contacted the same company that made the barns in the UK. Because they have a US division as well. They're international. Um, so I had them construct a couple more barns. Speaking of international, we got the 1455 here. We got the Ford 7610. We got the Massey 3095. We got this John Deere uh, planter here. Now we got on a used vehicle sale. I sold the other one because I really didn't like it that much. It wasn't really working out for uh, the size of the field. We got a small metal shed here that uh, I don't have the key on me to unlock it. But inside there we just have all the parts from the... 
Remember the international tractor we got the was it the eight eighty six? Yeah, the eight eighty six. All the parts of that are in there and a couple other things like um you know like extra tools and stuff like that. This is a tool shed. And here we got lifting platform with a little workshop area. It's very nice, got engine lift just in case we ever need to do some modifications. I got some spare lumber in the back and uh, some metal sheets. Um, and I think this is supposed to be like a hedge wall starting to grow. Um, but yeah, so we got all this lumber here just in case we didn't do anything with it. It was it was there when uh, you know I got here, which is nice. Storage for my trailer. It's no longer a flatbed. It's got a tipper on it. Cause I figured. You know, why not uh, make it an actual, you know, like, frame just in case we need to dump things in there. We've got our grass field, which is looking nice. And everything's all good up here. We got the Farmall Super H, F600, the Gator. And we got the, the F-150. Well, the F-100. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Now, the person uh, who was at the end of the street all the way down there that did the modifications, uh, they moved. But I let them keep the other tractors because I figured you know I, I got enough as it is you know if I need another tractor I might like you know sell off like the Massey or whatever but yeah uh, here is the new up the the new farm the new land well not, not new but you know Good, we got newer neighbors over here. Uh, that old couple uh, finally moved out. And they have a new house here, the new people. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to get back into the swing of things and uh, you know, starting to farm again. Uh, yeah, I don't really have a plan for uh, you guys today, so that I would be doing it right now. I mean, you guys seen this place before? Oh yeah, I can show you. Um, I've gotten contacted by uh, people uh, down the road. They have machinery. That they, you know, don't really need anymore because they are, are stepping out of the farming business. But they know I'm doing a grass field. Um, so, they have something to show me. And I think they might actually let me, you know, buy the equipment from them. Because they have grass stuff. Where is it at? Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, the big barn here. Yeah. Oh, I assume the entrance was on the other side. Alright. Gotta pull back around. But yeah, these people are no longer farming in the farming business, so they're gonna... Let me have their equipment. And before you people say I'm trespassing, no, I'm allowed to come on the property. These people are cool. Yeah. Now, if you guys remember the International 886, they actually have a similar model. Uh, the 1486. I think it's a slightly bigger version. 
So since I have the parts for the A86, I might actually be able to like, you know, retrofit it onto this. That, that would actually be pretty cool to have. But these are what I'm after. Uh, John Deere Baylor. Uh, you know, picks up the bales, dumps them out. It's like the forge wagon, but instead of keeping it in the wagon, it makes bales. And here is a hay wagon. Uh, from John Deere as well, right? Yeah. Oh, they have the logo on it somewhere. Exactly. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, John Deere. That's a hay wagon. So I can I can throw up all the bales on here for transport, which is quite cool. Now they told me the international don't run, so if, I would probably need to like tow it back or uh, pay someone to bring it back to my farm because I can uh, work on it and uh, get it running again. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Let's say they're gate open, I guess I'll leave it open. Yeah, that international might be a good project for us to work on. You know, now that we don't have to worry about, you know, anything else, really. So, yep, back home up in Indiana. I can't wait to get like fully started back on uh what they say on the grind yeah I feel that's gonna be very very exciting yeah that should be far enough yeah so yeah Here, here it is, the farm. Well, I mean, th this is how it is. I literally have nothing to do for <laughs> this video. I just thought you guys would like an update on the situation. So, yeah. Happy to start farming back here, and I guess I'll uh, catch you guys on the next one.